So it's occurred to me that I never did a tutorial for this, uh, for this secret weapon or this new weapon that they added in the Halloween update for Tormented Souls. So we're going to solve that today or we're going to sort that out today and I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get the new weapon that was added to Tormented Souls. I know, I know, like six months late, but you know what? The game releases in uh, on the PS4 this month and is releasing on the Switch in April. So those of you guys who are watching, there you go. But we're going to talk about how to get, I think it's called the Enhanced Nail Gun. Um, I honestly, I don't remember what it's called. I think it is, or the Modified Nail Gun. Basically, it allows you to shoot three nails in a row, which will eat up your ammo. Just a little FYI. But um, it's a very, very useful weapon, especially early game. If you guys are having a difficult time, basically takes out most enemies in like two shots because it shoots three nails at a time. So just... Keep that in mind, if you want to make the game easier for yourself, then you can get this weapon and use it. If not, if you're like me, and you kind of want the game to be as hard as possible, then you don't want to use this weapon. But, in order to do that, you're going to pass this scuba helmet right here, go up to this painting, and we're going to solve this right here. So, first puzzle is you're going to click on this three times. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, after you've clicked on that three times, then you're going to go back to the scuba puzzle, or scuba puzzle. You're going to go back to the scuba helmet, and you're going to walk around the scuba helmet counterclockwise five times. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go back to that right now so you can see what I'm talking about. So we'll go back to the scuba helmet, and the camera will shift, and with the camera shift, walk counterclockwise five times. Okay, so ready? Here we go. One... Two, three, four, five. And the painting moves. So now we have the next puzzle that we need to do. So right here is the clue that we need. It says, what's this for? Well, here's the thing. This one's a little bit tricky. You need to connect the top rows to make uh or not top rows you need to connect the the markings to make two numbers and two, and and one shape it's not easy to do just going to be 100% with you um the way that i did it is i had to take a piece of paper and start like writing down the things like so so it kind of makes a number um so i'll just give you the solution and that way you don't have to do that if you don't want to but if you want to figure this out for yourself because it is very rewarding don't watch the rest of this but uh, if you do want to figure it out i'm going to tell you the solution uh right now so we'll go ahead and do that so the solution to this puzzle so after you take a look at this you're going to go to like a dial. Okay, so on the dial is where you're going to put in the solution. Just really quick, one more time. If you don't want the solution and you want to figure it out for yourself, then do yourself a favor and try to connect the shapes in the cells together and you'll get two numbers and a figure. Okay? So... Here we go. We're going to go ahead and we are going to um, we're going to get this sorted out for you guys right now. So here is the solution. So over here is the dial. All right. So we need the numbers and the shapes. The first number on the dial is going to be seven. So you want to turn it until you get to seven. Come on. Okay, so we're going to turn it until we get to 7. Alright, the next number... I don't know why that just reset. Next number is a 2. So you keep turning it until you get the number 2. Now down here, you have two more slots that is going to make the shape. The shape almost looks like an upside down spade. So we're going to go ahead and put the point first. And then the top part is going to be... 
Not the not the small spade. It's like an upside down fat spade right there. Boom, you saw it. That's the solution to the puzzle. And there you go. You have the nailer. Again, this this nail gun is very very busted. Um, we'll go ahead and we will equip it. Actually, probably not a good idea. Let's uh, let's not die here. Completely forgot. This is the beginning of the game. Let's not die here. We're gonna get to the first enemy and then I'll show you guys what the nail gun can do. All right, so here we are on the first enemy, which is the wheelchair guy. The modified nailer comes equipped with 15 rounds, meaning you get five shots. So here we go. Back up. I gotta get used to the controls. I haven't played this game in a while. One, he gets knocked down. He's gonna get back up. And two shots, he's dead. That's how strong this nail gun is. It's broken. So keep that in mind if you don't want the game to be easier for you. Okay? If you want the game to be a little bit more difficult for you, don't use this gun. It is crazy good, crazy strong, stronger than, in my opinion, stronger than the shotgun or just as strong as the shotgun. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new. That's the last tutorial for this game. It is what it is. I had fun with this one. Everybody, I'll see you guys next time. Happy gaming.